how to use the Arrhenius equation to calculate Ea, the activation energy of a reaction, and A. So here's a typical exam question. Using the data below, plot a graph and calculate the activation energy, Ea, and the pre-exponential factor, A, when 1 over t equals 0, log k equals 25.40. And you're given the value of t in Kelvin, and for each value of t in Kelvin, you're given a value of k in seconds to the minus 1. So you need to know that the Arrhenius equation is k, little k, is a, the pre-exponential factor, times by e raised to the power of the activation energy, ea, divided by rt. If you take logs of both sides of the equations, you get log k is log a minus ea divided by rt, which means you can plot this on a graph of the form of y equals mx plus c, where y is log k, that bit, c is log a, the pre-exponential factor we're trying to find out, and mx is ea divided by rt. So if we plot this on a graph, on a graph log k against 1 over t, the intercept is log a, and the gradient is minus ea, the activation energy, divided by r. So the first thing we need to do is we need to use our calculator and calculate values of 1 over t, which we do here, going across, and we need to calculate values of log k, that's log to the base e, which are these numbers here. We then need to plot a graph of log k versus 1 over t, which looks something a bit like this. So we need to calculate the gradients, and the gradient is the change in y divided by the change in x. And from this we get the change of y is minus 2.5. The change of x, measured along that axis, is 0 0.00026. And putting that in our calculator, we get the answer to be minus 9615. Now going back to what we were originally thought, plotting log k on a graph against 1 over t, the intercept is log a, and the gradient is minus ea divided by r. So this number here is ea divided by r. e equals minus the gradient times r, so rearranging it. r, the ideal gas constant, is 8.314. So from this, we get ea is 79900, so the EA, the activation energy, is 79.9 kilojoules per mole. The question also asks us to calculate the pre-exponential factor. So from our earlier working, we know the intercept is log A. So log A is where the line crosses the y-axis here. And we're told in the question that when 1 over t equals 0, log k equals 25.4. So when 1 over t equals 0, log k equals 25.4. So that means the intercept, where this line here, the grey one, cuts the axis, is 0. The intercept is 25.4. So the intercept is log a. The intercept is 24.5. So log a is 24. So we know the intercept is log a. We know that the intercept is 25.4. So log a is 25.4, which means if you put it into a calculator, a must be equal to e raised to the minus 25.4, the antilog of it. So a is 1.07 times 10 to the 11th.